Welcome back. I'm on my second foray of 2023 looking for Morcella Americanum, or the blonde morels, the large. And I am in a creek bottom once again, close to my house. And uh, it's been three days since my first foray, which was excellent. And then today, it's been extremely difficult. I have not seen much. I've been in perfect habitat and just not seeing a thing and it just goes to show how enigmatic and difficult these mushrooms can be um, but as I'm walking along looking under the bushes and the uh, brush piles and thickets I start to tune in a little bit look a little harder observing closer and if I crawl up under here there's a really nice flush. They are all back in here. Um, but they are not necessarily <laughs> in a spot that I would have seen if I was just walking. You know, I was getting discouraged, and if I had not turned my brain on to a more observant wavelength, I would have walked right past these and just continued to feel horrible about how bad my day has been going. But looks like it's just turned around and um, hopefully after I get these, we'll find some more. still on the same flush that I came across and uh, fighting my way through the brambles and working around and uh, this big fruiting is coming off of this it's surrounding this giant dead tree part of this tree has fallen away and they are just everywhere um, I've found this with other trees as well, that when they die for the first couple years after they've died, you may get large fruitings around the base of them. Um, there's quite a few here. Although, if you look at these here, this white mold on them, they are being hypomycetized. So these are being eaten by a species-specific mold. Um, when they are deformed and looking like this here, you know, I don't know, I would avoid eating them. I know there are some species of hypomyces that can make you ill. I don't know much about the Morcella-specific species, but uh, something to pay attention to when you're out collecting. You uh, would hate your morel experience to be destroyed by becoming violently ill um but uh i'm gonna grab these and we will continue on 